I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to relieve ear pressure pain. So, there are a few things that can cause this sensation of pain and pressure in the ear. Probably the most common is a swimmer's ear. That's an infection or inflammation of the external auditory canal. That's this part, the hole, all the way down to the eardrum and everything that surrounds it. Now, if you have a really mild swimmer's ear, you can try an over-the-counter swimmer's ear remedy. You can try mixing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide or vinegar and alcohol in one-to-one -one mixtures and see if that will relieve it. But if you've got really substantial pain, chances are good you're going to need an antibiotic often mixed with a steroid medication that only your doctor can prescribe for you. So ways to know it's a swimmer's ear, if you touch your ear and it hurts or poke right here and it hurts and it feels full and painful, that's a swimmer's ear and you are going to want to seek care for that in most cases. Now another part of the ear that can feel pain and pressure is the middle ear. That's the chamber, normally filled with air, where the little bones live, the ossicles, that connect the eardrum to the nerves or the cochlea. Now, when that chamber is not filled with air, or when the air pressure in that chamber is very different from the air pressure in the outside world, it can stretch the eardrum or inflame the eardrum and cause pain. Usually, if it's just a matter of air pressure, you can equalize the pressure by yawning, chewing gum, swallowing, or doing something else to move the jaw. You might hold your nose a little bit and try and move some air in and out and see if you can equalize the pressure. If there's fluid in there, as might occur, for example, with a cold or viral upper respiratory infection, you might want to use an over-the-counter decongestant, such as pseudoephedrine or phenylephrine for a day or two. Now, we don't recommend these medications for children, especially young children anymore. It doesn't appear that they really do them any good, and there may be some really significant side effects in some cases. A third thing you could try if you have fluid in the middle ear is a sort of a nasal decongestant spray like Afrin or a generic version. But most important, don't use that for more than one or two days at a time, three days at most, because then stopping it gets really hard. The inside of the nose gets used to having that chemical, that medicine there, and when the medicine goes away, the congestion comes right back. Now, if you have pain and fever, you may have a middle ear infection. Many middle ear infections resolve without the use of antibiotics, but some severe or complicated middle ear infections do require antibiotics. So at that point, you're going to want a doctor to look down in the ear and see what's going on. Talking about relieving pain with a middle ear uh, congestion and pressure, I'm Dr. David Hill.